Yeah. Oh no! Huh. All right, welcome back, everybody. This is UTMX. My name's Cody. Real quick before we hop in the video, thank you to everyone that's hit subscribe and everyone that's watching these videos. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, if you do so, that will be awesome. Okay, let's get into it today. It's the final video. The YZ250 FX versus the KTM 300 XC two stroke versus four stroke showdown. I've owned this one for the summer, that one since 2020. I'm uh, just riding back and forth and I've been deciding which bike is my favorite. So today while we're riding, I'm going to just talk about what I like about each bike and which one is my favorite, which bike I would choose to keep if I can only have one. So we got Chase riding my KTM today. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Whoa, little slick. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I've got a bunch of hours on both of these bikes. A lot of them are back to back, so I could really put them through a good test. So I want to decide which bike is my favorite and which bike to kind of keep. I did end up selling, my dad ended up buying the KTM from me. Woo! Um, for now, but killed it. <laughs> Woo! This is a little enduro section. Huh. So right off the bat, this bike, four stroke, get tired on it quicker but it's kind of they're both fun in different areas I'll say this rough stuff I'd for sure uh, rather be on the KTM the two-stroke um, a lot easier in the rough stuff because it's lighter and just the way it tractors especially over these boulders this one I get more arm pump and it's harder to control When we get into the open, flowy single track, this bike shines. But the KTM does just fine there. Whew. But, like I said, the rough stuff, no doubt, the two stroke is the hands down winner by mile. Couple things I like about this bike better. The brakes. I know everyone loves the brakes on the KTMs. The rear brake is too soft. For me, it doesn't bite quicker, quick enough. I feel like it doesn't, uh, I feel like I can't feel it. I've adjusted it and I just, I don't know, this bike, I love the rear brake. If I could have this rear brake and the KTM front brake, that'd be my favorite brake system. I just kind of like the more motocross feel for rear brakes. Oh. Too high of a gear there. But yeah, brake system. I take the Yamaha. Rest stuff. I take the KTM. Fast stuff. I'll take either. Yeah. I like both bikes in the fast stuff. But this bike is more fun when it's fast and flowy. If you feel more like you're racing when you're on this bike. Faster. Woo! I like how this one can, I mean both bikes will stand up if you thump it and pull back. This one just feels it stands up a little easier. The Yamaha is cool because it has the map system and the app so you can mess around and get different maps. This is the first bike where I've actually been able to tell a difference with different... Oh! Chase just sent it over that big boulder. Yeah, this is the first bike I've been able to actually feel a difference when I get different maps. Woo! Yeah, 
Now, if I had to have a four stroke forever, this bike's it. Oh, all right, all right guys, we're gonna switch bikes here. Oh, so I can chat about the KTM now. Things I like about that better than this. Let's catch up to Kyle. Woo! Okay, instantly, you hop on this bike, and it is so light, it feels like you're on a scooter. <laughs> oh no! One time I went in this, there's a, a ravine in there, like a rut. It dropped lower than my seat. I tipped over, dumped it. Oh, it was horrible. Every time I'd stand up to get out, I'd slip and fall back in. Okay, I'll tell you what, like instantly, this bike is a cheat code to enduro, to single track, to moto. Oh, not moto, not motocross. This bike's not very good at motocross. But like I get on it, my arms don't hurt. It feels like I can chuck it wherever I want it. And it pulls differently. Oh, bad route. Just the four stroke power, it kind of has like that hit first. And then it like almost feels like you're getting pushed. This kind of feels like it's pulling me up the mountain. It is so smooth, like, ah. Oh. Guys, back to back, it's, it's hard to want to get back on the YZ250FX, I'm not going to lie. When we get to a smooth part, I might, like, ah, oh, I like it here, but I can't lie. Okay. Uh, I can't lie. This bike feels better. Immediately better. Chase is probably back there, hating life on the four stroke. He doesn't like four strokes very much. However, so he hates four strokes. Said he never ride one. Last time we went out, he rode the 250FX the whole time. Took him a minute to get used to it. But he said he really enjoyed it. He wouldn't buy one. But coming from a two stroke only guy, he said he really liked it. Liked how smooth it is, likes how it rides like the suspension all the good stuff <laughs> but he'd still he still takes a two stroke but that just shows how good of a four stroke it is oh Kyle killed it Woo! I just feel confident on this bike I would do stuff that I wouldn't do on the four stroke without even thinking while on the four stroke I'd think about it all right guys let's just get to the point if I can only have one bike the rest of my life a K10 300 or a YZ 250FX dun, dun, dun. you guessed it it's the KTM the K-Dub oh. For all the reasons I said, it just, I'm more confident, it's easier, lighter, doesn't beat me up. However, if you can have two bikes, oh, I don't think there's a much better combo than the KTM 300 two stroke, the YZ 250FX. I wish Yamaha would make a 350FX, because one thing where it doesn't do good is the sand. Think of how that little extra power might be good. Whew. That's my thoughts after a whole summer of swapping back and forth, back and forth. The KTM for my style riding. Yeah! It's better. So much better. But if you're a four short guy, Get the 250 FX, freaking awesome. You'll love it. Oh yeah, you guys, hit subscribe because we're gonna do some fall color riding next in this next video. 
Yeah, side by sides, they can't go anywhere. <laughs> Alright, let's see if Chase made it. Thank you so much for watching. It really helps me have the drive to keep on making videos. I really enjoy it. So please subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you've ridden both bikes, what do you think? Thank you for watching. Kyle, you look like a Kramer, man. Is there a famous Kramer quote, quote I can pop in right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh.